Good morning, super cool party people. It's about quarter to one. I think we're leaving within a half an hour or so. I am not looking forward to today. I tried to sleep a little bit more for like the last two hours and I didn't. And you know, when you like get really tired and you feel sick, I'm already there. <laughs> gonna, gonna be good. Fingers crossed, hoping for the best, but it's a very long day of travel. So I guess I'll see you along the way, and hopefully. Okay, it's 3.20, I just cleared security. I'm going to my gate now. I fly out in about two and a half hours. It was easy, I was the first person through. They had it under control. We're stopping. I'll check in with you as I can. I don't know how today's gonna go, so who knows how well I'm gonna do with this vlogging thing. I am home. I vlogged like nothing today because it's just been a very, very long day of travel and my layover was super tight in Dallas. And then I got back to Vancouver, had food, cleared customs really easily, which was nice, had food, then made my way to the ferry terminal for like another almost two hours on the ferry. And then my mommy came and picked me up and then that was about an hour and a half or something like that, I don't know. I'm about at 40 hours of consciousness now with, I think I had like a two hour nap yesterday afternoon was what it ended up being, like two, two and a half hours. And then today while I was waiting for the ferry, I had like a 30 minute power nap if I was lucky. I am exhausted, <laughs> I'm so tired. I would have already gone to sleep. It's 9.36, so that's 12.36 for what I'm used to. I would have gone to sleep already, but a friend is in town who I haven't seen for a couple years, and so I want to hang out with him for a bit. Get caught up and all that, but yeah. I'm gonna put on pajamas now, and I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm not even gonna end this vlog. I'll do it, I'll just add this one to tomorrow's, because I imagine I'm gonna sleep for quite a while now, and um, I'm not I'm scheduled for work tomorrow, but I told them I'd either be in tomorrow or the next day. And I'm just not gonna go in tomorrow. I'll go in on Thursday. Um, and I'm just not gonna tell them because they didn't invite me to the Christmas lunch. Screw them. <laughs> I don't hold grudges at all. I totally hold grudges. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go sleep now. Right here. Good night. Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to my first full day in Canada. It's about 10.30, I woke up about half an hour ago, and I just didn't want to move. I probably could have gone to work today because I woke up at like 6.30 this morning. I was like, I am wide awake, but I was like, nope, we're going back to sleep. So I figure I got like 12 hours of sleep, which is great, and now I'm going to do something that I'm so excited for, which is cook food for the first time in a week. Like, I have basically eaten out since I left last Tuesday, and it's just, it's terrible. My, like, my tum-tum is just not happy with me, Ugh, and, like, just, you get sick of eating out, for sure. So, that's the plan, is to get up and make some food, and then putter about today, I think, and not go outside, because I think it's probably gonna be cold out there. <laughs> But yeah, so I will um, be back once I'm up and mobile, I guess. Alright, so I've consumed some lunch and lost my glasses. Um, the great thing about when you lose your glasses is you can't really see you to find your glasses. So I'm gonna have to like get really close and squinty at things in an effort to find them. But um, I checked my like ring for what I slept last night and I slept like over 11 hours. So that's good. Aha! I found my glasses. And um, oh look! Hopefully I was in focus before, didn't think of that one. Anyway, um, I think I might jump in the shower because, you know, a day of travel, you feel kind of gross, and then I need to, like, unpack or something, make my bed in the very least, make myself feel better about stuff, and then one thing I didn't do while I was away that I was hoping I would do is work on my query letter or my synopsis. So those need to be high on the list to get back into here in the next day or two. I do want to start sending stuff off before the end of the month and it is the 16th now so we're already halfway through. I said 
when we were halfway through the month when I got back I would start to send stuff off so I should probably do that but you know gotta like get my life back in order first so yeah I think shower first relax a bit because I like to air dry because it just gives me an excuse to do nothing and then um start tidying and then start thinking about focusing on the important stuff should be good all right I'll be back. Alrighty, so I did what I said I was gonna do when I got back from the wedding, and I just cut like five or six inches off my hair. It's so much shorter. I did it myself, obviously. Um, it's not perfect, but because my hair is wavy, it's forgiving. Anyways, we'll see what that is like. I might go shorter. I figured we'd start here for now. It's so much lighter. It's so nice. Anyway, I think I'm gonna watch a movie or a show or something and make my bed and all that stuff. I'm just so unmotivated as one might imagine because I've been away for a week and doing nothing but, well I mean being stressed about the wedding, that stuff, but other than that like nothing of great value or importance. So slowly getting back into, like I am standing in a pile of clothes right now because I am packed and well, I didn't unpack. I got here and I needed specific things and it was just like, pfft. so yeah, but I did important things like chop off some of my hair. I like it. I still think maybe, I mean, this side's a little bit longer. I'm pretty certain. Just a little bit. Um, but I don't know. We'll see what happens, what it looks like when it dries. It might be terrible. I might need to just go get a haircut. But we shall see. Okay, so slow but steady progress um i unpacked my suitcase i'm doing a load of laundry now i have two to do technically but it's all good um and i put my suitcase away so like it's just whoo there's still some junk here which was like last minute stuff that i pulled out and needs to go back in like my work bag writing bag etc i decided to put my face on i feel all glitzy i'm really liking this cut the more that i sit with it i still would maybe go get it fixed up a little bit but then I have to be like cut my hair myself um I had a really judgy hair cutter one time she was like oh this looks terrible who cut your hair I was like it was me deal with it I'm gonna leave now um but anyway I also checked the submission guideline for one of the agencies that I'm gonna be submitting to oh that seems so weird to say still uh, because I wasn't sure if it was 2,000 words or 2,000 characters in a particular place, and it is 2,000 characters. So my query letter at this point is a little long, which I kind of thought it might be, so I'm definitely going to go back and um, ch -ch 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 that a little bit, and also there's a few more things that I have to add into it for that particular one, but that's fine. It's cool. And I can also take some stuff out too, because in the submission form on this site, it asks you the title, it asks you how many words, it asks you the genre. Why am I having such trouble saying the word ask? Anyway, um, so I can take those out of my query letter and pop them in there instead, so that's good. But yes, yes, yes. I think the plan now is just to wait for my sister-in-law to get home and then I think we're gonna go out and buy some food or potentially eat some food and then buy some groceries. We will just see what happens. I love my short hair. I love my short hair. I still think maybe shorter. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I gotta go. Strudel's mom is sending me pictures of her on Instagram and I love it. It's I love that dog. I miss that dog. The dog just looking at her makes me so happy. Um, anyway, it's just about 10 now. So we did go out and we went for dinner and we went grocery shopping and then came back. I've been doing nothing, uh, finishing my laundry. It's just a day where I'm doing nothing. I've decided because, yeah, I did, I crossed things off a list, but in reality it was like, no. It was a no. But I'm kind of getting tired. Um, so I think I'm going to sleep now. I don't know if it's jet lag or just I've been doing nothing. And as a result, I'm tired. Because um, that sometimes happens too. But I think I'm going to go now. I got a vlog to edit. And I want to go to sleep. <laughs> it's kind of nice, actually. I was thinking because um, I was like, whatever while I was away. <laughs> like, Sometimes I would schedule the vlog to go up when I got up 
or sometimes I would just upload it and it would be like 5 a.m. here and so it's so like in one day it like didn't go up to like 4 and you know what it kind of felt nice to just not stress about it so I enjoyed that but I'm gonna try to get this one up tonight I'm assuming I don't pass out first but with that, I'm going to say thank you for coming along on these last two days of adventures, which wasn't much, to be honest. But tomorrow we are back to work, and then I have the weekend off. Uh, so I should be able to do things like send off my book. Mwah! Anyway, I'm going to go now. So I will see you tomorrow. I don't remember what I said. I screwed up my ending. Good night. Good night.